are real estate agents essential? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. I decided to skip my regular content for this week and instead make a really quick video updating all of you out there on exactly what's happening in the world of real estate right now with the COVID-19 virus right here in New Jersey. So ironically, I actually already made a version of this video. I recorded it on Friday, planned on releasing it today, updating you all on what was happening, how we were handling it, what we were doing working with clients, etc. However, our governor, Governor Phil Murphy, issued um, an announcement on Saturday around midday, and he put in place Executive Order 107 that went into effect 9 p.m. on Saturday, which changed a lot of things for us. Before I get into exactly how this executive order affects us in real estate and what's going on in the market right now, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who is continuing to work every single day and putting themselves and their families at risk to make life possible for the rest of us. Of course, that means our first responders, our police, our firefighters, our EMT, our entire medical community, doctors, hospitals, nursing, staff, everybody that's helping to continue to fight this on the front lines. And of course, the rest of our community that is continuing to work in businesses such as grocery stores, convenience stores, liquor stores, gas stations, restaurants, and any other food and delivery service. Thank you for helping make sure that we are able to put food on the table for all of our families. So now let's talk specifically about the governor's order and how it affects us here in the real estate industry in New Jersey. So it, he made the announcement on Saturday and the executive order number 107 go, went into effect on Saturday night, starting at 9 PM. He closed all non-essential businesses. So things like grocery stores, convenience stores, gas stations, hospitals, doctor's office, senior care, transportation, things like that, that's all still open. He closed any and all retail only establishments and anything that was non-essential. So the big question we had here in real estate is, are real estate agents essential? If you think about it, housing is an essential thing that we all need. We all need to stay at home. It's a stay at home order. We all have to have a home to stay at, correct? However, there's been a lot of debate about what we can and can't do in terms of real estate specifically. What I can tell you is that um, real estate attorneys have been deemed essential. So have title companies. So if you are somebody out there that is currently in a transaction right now, uh, reach out to your real estate team, see exactly where you are in the transaction. If you are right about to closing, like closing in the next week or two, chances are your closing will still happen. In fact, I have one happening on Wednesday and it's happening at the attorney's office. However, only the buyers are going. It will be, I think the first closing in my entire career that I will not be at the closing for my clients. Um, so that's what's going to be happening. So you most likely will be closing if you're that far in the process. The process of closing and who's going to be there and that sort of thing might just look a little bit different. Uh, in terms of certificate of occupancies, if again you're a part of a real estate transaction currently, one of the things that is required is that the home obtain a certificate of occupancy prior to the sale or the change of ownership. Um, a fire certificate is required across the whole state and then some towns have a little bit further requirements. What I can tell you is that there's a lot of towns in our area right now that are waiving the requirement of having a certificate of occupancy in order to close the transaction. In fact, North Brunswick issued um, an order, uh, I guess it was the end of last week, that they are allowing closings to take place without a certificate of occupancy in place. So again, if you are a part of a real estate transaction, you know, right now, reach out to your real estate team, see if you have already obtained their certificate of occupancy, and if not, whether or not your town is one of the towns that is willing to waive it to allow it to move forward to closing. Obviously, if you are a buyer in this case and you're purchasing a home that did not obtain a certificate of occupancy, talk to your attorney about any, um, you know, responsibilities or liabilities that might come along with that. In terms of a home inspection, now there is still some debate about whether or not home inspection can take place. I have been told that pest inspections and pest control is deemed essential. So you can still do a termite inspection in theory. Um, and I did reach out to a couple of the home inspectors that I work with and they were told that they are deemed essential and that a home inspection can still take place. I've actually um, just received some information from a company that is willing to do home inspections remotely, which means they will go to the property, they will conduct the entire home inspection, and then they will get on a video call with the buyer and go through everything. And they'll show them the house and they'll go through everything, what their findings were and things like that. So if you're a buyer out there that is a little bit concerned um, about going to the home or leaving your home or leaving quarantine, but the inspector is willing to still go to the property to conduct the home inspection, they can, they can do that remotely. So definitely reach out to your real estate team again to find out some more information about 
about whether or not that's a possibility for you or for you in your area. Now, in terms of our role as a real estate agent, you know, the governor did not really specify in his order that real estate agents are not able to do open houses or showings. He left it very open-ended. So what I can tell you is that our CEO for New Jersey Association of Realtors has reached out to the governor's office and asked for clarification. There's a lot of us out there that when we saw the governor's order, we interpret that as Anybody non-essential, meaning if you don't need to be out looking at homes and you don't need to be out buying a home, then you really shouldn't because it's not necessary. Unless it's a necessity, you should not be out looking and shopping for homes at this moment. However, he did not specify no showings for real estate agents in his executive order. So um, our association has reached out for clarification and as of my recording this right now on Monday afternoon, we have not received any confirmation back. What I have done is obviously we are no longer doing open houses. If you think about it, no public gatherings are allowed and an open house is a public gathering. So of course we're not doing any open houses. The big question is, can we do private showings, one-on-one -on -one showings, as long as we maintain all of the CDC guidelines and that's really what's still up in the air. I've already spoken with all my clients. We're all kind of sitting tight at the moment. If I get the green light that we are allowed to show properties and to do those appointments as long as we follow the CDC guidelines. I want everybody out there to understand that while we may be allowed to do it, the question really is, should we be doing it? Should we be going out and looking at homes? Should we be welcoming strangers into our homes? And can we really do that in a responsible manner? And the reality is I think a lot of people, the answer to that would be no. Um, you know, maybe if the property is vacant and we can, we can, follow the guidelines truly, but if it's an occupied property or anything like that, or if there's an elderly person in the home or a small child in the home, I really think that you need to think twice about whether or not that it's truly necessary to be out shopping and looking at homes at this time. We also need to think about it from the other side, even if you're willing to go out and to look at homes and to shop for homes and to see what's going on, um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of other people that are going to be practicing caution and be more reserved, which means there's gonna be a lot of homes you may not be able to get in to see there's gonna be a lot less homes on the market there's gonna be a lot more people pulling their homes back um, and if you are a buyer you might be more reluctant to go into strangers homes because you don't know anything about the people that live there and what their interactions have been with anybody or if they're sick or anything like that as well just know that if you if, if we do get the green light that we are able to go out and to see homes please understand that you're still going to have a ton and ton and ton of limitations in and around going out and seeing homes and shopping for homes and that sort of thing. We're trying to do as much virtually as we can. Certainly if a home has a virtual tour, you feel free to view that online and do as much as you can, look at the photos, things like that. Once we get more clarification on exactly what we can or can't do directly from the governor's office in response to the letter our you know, Realtors Association sent, that will give us a better guide on exactly what we can and can't do in terms of serving our clients. The one thing I did want to point out though is that New York City has already, Governor Cuomo has already put an all stop to real estate in New York. So realtors in New York are not allowed to show properties anymore and I believe I saw something that said they're not even allowed to call or cold call or solicit call people right now as well. Um, so if that's happening in New York, it may actually end up happening here in New Jersey too, probably in a matter of days. So just be mindful of that as well. So that's all the news I have on that topic for right now. Obviously this is ever changing minute by minute and day by day and what I'm saying right now by the time you're watching this may not even be relevant anymore this is the information as I have it on Monday March 23rd in terms of the real estate market here in New Jersey um, you know keep an eye on my social media Facebook business page Pullman property group I will be giving updates as we are or allowed or not allowed to do things throughout the transaction. I'll be putting some updates there as well. I also do a market update every Friday, live, Facebook Live every Friday morning. Um, and I'll be giving some more information on this Friday too with kind of where we are with the market and what we are and aren't allowed to do. I just wanna say everybody out there, be safe, be smart, stay home, do not go out if you don't need to, only go out for absolute necessity, but stay active, stay healthy. Don't just sit on your couch all day, get a little bit of exercise. I know it's raining today, but when the weather's nice, get out, go for a walk, get some fresh air, just maintain social distancing, CDC guidelines. For all those out there that might be suffering from the virus, I hope and wish for you a very speedy recovery. And if you are out there, um, you know, if you 
have a family member or somebody you know that's been directly affected by this, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I hope that we can all get through this um, very quickly and we can get back on with our regular lives. But in the meantime, stay home, stay safe, be smart. I'll see you next week.